What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and welcome back to Splatoon single player. Today we head to World 2 way over there. Last time we completed all of World 1 including this very blockheady boss battle that existed right below that sewer grate. Thank you guys so much for your support. I love that you love it. This game, it's probably the most fun I've had all year, so let's continue our journey. Before we do though, I want to show you something. It's floating in the sky and no, it's not these cool icons. It is in fact... Can you see it right there? That thing in the sky, not the floating cubes, but the UFO that's just slowly moving across the skybox. That thing is marked on the map, so I'm sure it plays a role eventually. I have no idea what it does or who lives in there or what it's for, but eventually the saucer will play a role in our Splatoon adventures. Right now, though, let's head to World 2 and see what kind of missions that place may hold. We'll grind the inky rail and work our way to the next mini hub. Which is kind of like a skate park. Uh, which Black Belly, I think it's Black Belly, Black Berry, Berry Black, the Black Berry, the Black Baron, I don't know, whatever that, <laughs> the multiplayer level called, uh, that involves a skate park, it's probably my favorite multiplayer level in the game. Um, if you guys have seen that one already, you know what I'm talking about. All right, what level is this right here? That is number six. I think we're looking for number five. Let's try to do these in order. I kind of like that you have to, like, uncover the single-player levels uh, within these mini-hubs. It's kind of cool. As opposed to some other games just, you know, show it for you. Like, oh, walk across a map. This is the right one. Floating Sponge Garden. Beautiful. All right. So, in this level, you're going to see a brand new kind of ink mechanic. Otherwise known as Spongebob. All right. Any scrolls down here? Some of you said that the ones I missed were at the very beginning of the level. Kind of crazy. I really like the music in this game. What do you guys think about the soundtrack? That, that is a sponge. It blows up when you touch it. It's like a piece of toast in a real soggy sink. You know how like bread just expands and gets all gross? Ugh. Except these sponges aren't gross. They're incredibly useful. Especially when you got all sorts of tentacle creatures trying to ruin your day. I've seen a lot of you guys get Splatoon. I've been following you, uh, your comments on Twitter. I'm super glad that a lot of you are enjoying it. And I have been very impressed with some of the scores you've been getting. So if you're playing Splatoon, you're playing multiplayer, uh, definitely send me your high scores on Twitter. Take a pic and tweet it at me. And this is where, again, it starts to feel even more like Mario Galaxy because the mechanics, it's like an interactive shooter platformer, which I think is a really cool concept that very few games do. Um, shooters that try to dip into the platforming arena typically fail. Um, it, it's got some really cool vibes though, don't you think? I mean, you'll notice that we still are kind of in like this, uh, underground cave cavern type environment, but that is going to change in the near future here. Let's jump up the top here. We got some rollers, and they are going to try to take my sponge down to size. When it's touched by opposite ink, uh, it does lose its massiveness, so we got to make sure that we keep it intact. Alright, yep, that's exactly what I just said, Captain Colorfish. See? I could run this freaking squid army if I needed to. Alright, roller balls. Keep them at bay, keep them at bay. Pop the balloon. Today is your day, and let's send a... Uh, I'm, I'm low on ink. Let's get some ink, and let's send a seeker to pop that guy's top until they all drown in blue goo. What's your favorite color of ink? Let me know in the comments down below. Of all the colors you've seen in Splatoon, whether it's my videos, a commercial, somebody else's videos, your own game, what is your favorite Splatoon color? I wish that they would offer new colors of ink as DLC. I think that would be pretty freaking sweet. I hope maybe they go that route. Uh, but I have been impressed that, like, already the first DLC pack releases tonight. And that's this Monday, which is only, what, three full days after the launch of the game? Uh, and we're getting a new DLC pack with a new weapon and a new multiplayer map, which is, you know, something incredibly important because one thing this game has been criticized for is not a whole lot of multiplayer content, and bam, you get a map. Very, very nice. All right, so they're going to start getting a little bit more crazy with these uh, sponges because now we... Oh, we can hide in the sponges? <gasps> Captain Cuttlefish, what a brilliant tactic. See, I guess it's good to have an old freaking squid fart around to give us some uh, ideas, and then when they're not looking, you can shoot them. So he's gonna come at me, he's confused, and then we pop him, I like that. It's a pretty cool idea, all right. Drip drop the ink, let's go. Yeah, there we go. Just figure we might as well make all the sponges happy, right? Pretty cool mechanic. I wonder how insane it's gonna get. I do hope that uh, a lot of this stuff continues to be unveiled throughout the adventure. I don't think we actually need to get all of them. But, I do think we need to get this guy. 
bathe in my blue. Freaking, why don't they wear, or do they wear shoes? I know the squids wear shoes, but do the octopus people wear shoes or they just have feet? I think they actually do wear shoes, all right. Fire our blasters, oh yeah, they do. They've got little like booty shoes, kind of like sock booty shoe things. Oh, okay. Hit the sponges, pop the, the octopi. That's the way, whoa. Got some really bad aim there. I keep shooting the trees because in one of the levels there was stuff in the trees, and I want to ensure that I don't miss uh, any tree goodies. Balloonage, and another sponge beneath. All right. Zapfish has been found. I didn't find the scroll, man. Now that's good news, because the campaign is a little bit short, and so in terms of replayability, I like the fact that the scrolls are kind of sneaky and hard to find. Five levels down, five Zapfish in our stockpile. We're gonna freaking create our own Zapfish Zoo pretty soon. And you're all invited, free tickets, every Saturday. Soak it up, soak it up, soak it up. The good news is we already know uh, where the next level is. And Captain Galvush has moved his little body towards us. Tap upgrade gear to upgrade your gear. Um, yeah, let's increase our fire rate. Oh, it's 500. Duh, I can't do that. I could get more bombs, but eh. I'm gonna save and get 500. Let's head to this level, number six here, which is uh, swim fish, squid fish. Look at this. Look at this poor swimming squid. Can't do it. Well, ink, and now we can. Um, propeller lift playground. They're more like tea kettles than they are like sewage drains, aren't they? Now you're gonna start seeing things get a little bit more neon and a little bit more uh, industrial, which is kind of nice. All right. So now we're never Agent 3. What does this sign say? Escargo? Whoa! Didn't even realize I was gonna fly through there and these guys are trying to bomb me up. Stay away! Freaking mini, uh, fireworks. Like little firecrackers, like the little things that you would pop. You know those weird, I don't even know what they're called. Are they considered like a toy? Poppers? Like the things you pop and like, yay, confetti comes out. My brother was obsessed with those when he was little. At least for like a day or two. <laughs> Alright. I'm really excited to see like the enemy variety and how it all increases. Ooh, got some four leaf clovers of love here to lift us up all the way, way up. Hello, hello, hello. Can't wait to increase that firing rate. That's gonna be epic. Give me your orange balls. All right, so this is how we're gonna get up here and shoot these guys, I guess. Hello, 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 high above and then drop down. Come on, there we go. Shh, shh, shh. Blow us up. It's like St. Patrick's Day in a hot air balloon up here. Come on, come on, come on. Turn that hair dryer on. If you guys have a hair dryer at home, help me out here. Blow it straight into the screen. And help me turn everything green. I do love the color switch from level to level. I think it, it's just a charming thing. This game is full of that. Charming things. What is this guy? What does this say? Can anyone read squid? It's like, little black bomb man with a Mega Man hat says, I've got seven fingers. Can you count that high? And now we've got two twin tentaclers. And they are no match for our squid prowess. All right. Inking away, one step at a time, platforms of pleasure and pain. That almost does rhyme. Okay. Zoom to the next level, please. Ooh. All right, see, again, like, all the Mario Galaxy stuff is coming to fruition here. This is very Galaxy-esque. There were plenty of levels where you were on little platforms in the water, and then you get back on the mainland and stuff like that. Okay, this guy's being kind of feisty. Have a seeker. Boom, cover him and kill him. I feel bad killing the guys, because I don't know, like, are these abused Occupy that have been just captured and turned into evil torture machines, or are they really just jerks? I don't that. Whoa, 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 okay. All right, that's going to be kind of tricky. Let's send the Seeker over that way. Oh! <laughs> so easily distracted, so easily taken down. But yeah, you'll notice that below now, the caves are kind of below, and we're ascending to a higher level of Splatoon glory. All right. And the music has also changed and gotten more neon. Looks like there's balls on the other... Are there balls on the other side of that? I don't know. Let's get on it and see. Hello? No balls. All right. Gotta start looking at every side because the puzzles are getting a little bit more crazy. Hey! Get out of here, twin tentacle. Wow, he's kind of a painful one. Pain in the butt monster. Fill you up with lots of ink. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, see? Three orange doubloons with every purchase. All right, now slowly take us down. Anything extra we see? Scrolls aplenty? I don't see any. 
All right. Come on. Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down. I think it's kind of interesting that Ninten Nintendo, like, hasn't really talked much about this single-player mode. Or shown a whole lot, because I think it's one of the coolest features of Splatoon, to be honest with you. The verticality is getting, like, crazy cool here. Wait, wait, wait. Scroll! No! These are hidden, like, hyper well, aren't they? Oh, 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 oh! Alright. Put a little ink up, and then- No! <laughs> I bet it was on the underside of one of these and we just missed it somehow. There we go, though. Extra balls, and we're at 347, almost 400. Approaching 500. By the end of this video, we'll surely get that upgrade to our ink fire rate. Nicely done, nicely done. Where do we venture next? I think it'd be awesome if there was a Splatoon restaurant. Pretty sure that would be one of the greatest things, like, in the history of, of ever. Like, all these awesome ink drinks. All this awesome squid food. I don't really like seafood, so maybe they could make like fake seafood seafood or something. I'm guessing this is the boss because it's need more zatfish and it's linked to other places. Uh, but wouldn't that be absolutely epic? I think there should be game themed restaurants. Like video games are so popular. Why not? It would work really well. I would definitely shop there or eat there or dine there provided they had some like decently healthy option. Which they may not, I don't know. Oh, this is number four. Whoopsies. I thought number four was the boss. Alright, well gusher gauntlet. You get to see this one a little bit out of order. But all that matters is that we covered all the levels uh, in here. Oh, yes, squid totem poles. Native American squids. I've always dreamed of something like this. Let's go. Where is the chief? <laughs> Look at these gushers. Ah, they're as delicious as the real freaking candy. I will admit, even though I eat super healthy now, like, way back when, in the days of old, I did, like, really like gushers. Just for the fact that they explode in your mouth and make, like... A really nice feeling. That sounds pretty weird, but I'm telling you, it was kind of cool. All right, so there's all these gushers here. Pop the balloons, then you can burst the gusher. And then these guys that kind of hate us. Uh, the launch pad is up there. You can ride the gushers up though, which is kind of nice. And then ride them down. Again, just like how cool is it that they're using ink in so many different ways besides just covering the level? Splatoon is so much more than the surface level multiplayer. Ooh, a baby cube! Get out of here, baby cube! Gotta squirt him right in his backside in order to eliminate him from action. They're like stamps almost. It's kind of what they remind me of. Stamps are a thing of the past. Do kids these days even play with stamps? I had like stamp books and stamp kits. Not stamps like, I'm not talking about like the thing that your mailman needs. I'm talking about stamps like ink based stamps. Wow, this is really weird. How am I gonna get these guys? Oh, I see, okay. There we go, pop them from beneath with some gusher love. All right. And there's weird signs, we're like in a forest. Can't cover that with paint, but I can cover this. Uh-oh. There's a whole lot of gushers down here. It's like a water park. Oh, that would be another thing. Splatoon theme park. Okay, Universal Studios is teaming up with uh, Nintendo to build some rides. They have to make a freaking ink palace, either roller coaster that's like a water coaster, or some epic... Like, oh, have you guys seen the uh, the Toy Story 3D ride at uh, California Adventure? And I think it's also at Hollywood Studios at Disney World. Man, that is a freaking epic ride. It's the first, like, real ride that to me feels like it's a video game. And I think if they did something like that with Splatoon, like where you're shooting stuff and squirting ink, whether it's, like, virtual ink or real ink, that would be absolutely incredible. I kind of like this yellow color as well. Very lemony. It's like lemon heads all over. All right, um, up to Daisy we go. Just kind of squirt. And the pacing in this game, too, like the speed is pretty epic. You're just constantly on the go. Like, there's never a real moment where you're like, I need to slow down. Oh, what I get? <gasps> the scroll! Yes, that one was actually pretty easy to find. It was just tied up with an enemy. Now, we'll explore the other path as well. Let's head over here. And we get the zapfish, really? Already? Any more? Oh, there's more orange balls down there. Yes, let's go down two levels. Oh, this is like an epic playground. It's like, reminds me of being seven years old and loving Discovery Zones before parents figured out that those were just germ-infested palaces of poop and <laughs> other gross things that come out of children. All right, um, spit and slime and saliva. Let's ride the waves up to the next place. Where is it? Zappy? I think Zappy's right here, I believe. Hello, pretty Zapfish, my beautiful baby. We now have seven of you. Shh, sorry, it's not in order. Five, six, four. That's how you count, right? Uh. <laughs> so at least how I learn things. 
here in Inkopolis. All right, so Gusher Gauntlet is down. And this scroll is found in a deep rock layer. It's age estimated approximately 2,000 years. Look at those freaking creepy Egyptian squid gods. It details the ancient turf wars of the time. It seems the basic four versus four battle format has already been established. That's hilarious. Absolutely just cheeky, as some of my British YouTube friends would say. Um, all right. Now then. Now we're, we're looking for the actual level seven, even though we have done seven levels. Let's see. Anything there? No, but there is. It looks like one over here. Whoop. This should be number seven, right? No, it's number nine. <gasps> That's the UFO we've been talking about. I see. Okay, well then. I guess let's head... Whoa. That was kind of freaky. That's number nine. So where would number eight be? Um... Hmm. Maybe it's up there? Or number seven? This is probably number eight, right? I would imagine. If nine is right here, then one would guess that this would be eight. Right? I guess it really doesn't matter the order. I kind of just wanted to keep it in sync for you guys. Eight? Yeah, that's eight. So where's seven? Seven? I like how the music also changes, like, when we, uh... Different levels of the, the hub world, it changes. That's number six, right? Hello? That's six. Propeller lift playground. Um... Captain. Captain, oh, captain. Number seven, right here. Beautiful, Spreader Splatfest. Okay, are we gonna get to use a roller here? Now the Amiibos, if you guys haven't seen my video, uh, the Amiibos unlock challenges, but they're from the past level. So like you'll be using a roller in a normal level. It's not like it's a brand new level. And now the theme park theme is starting to set in. Balloons, watch out for spreaders. These are the spreaders. And what they do is they just wax the floor with a color that we do not adore. So instead, you gotta pop it like that and really try to cover your ground. And you can swim across the spreaders, which is nice and nifty. Um, but those spreaders, they will come back and haunt you no matter what. They don't care who you are, where you're from, what you dig, or even if you love them, they just wanna spread and ruin your life. All right, zooming right along up to the Ferris wheel. I wish we could ride some of these amusement park rides, uh, as opposed to just platforms all the time, but hey, it's cool that we at least get to see it in the background, right? Flying Octolines, oct Octolines, Octolines? Tortellini, Octolini, Fettuccine Alfredo? Come on, Squiddy, jump, oh, 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 ride the spreader. If the spreader doesn't like you, then let's not like the spreader. All right, pop goes the big fish, boomzer. Wowzer Bowser, and, 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 ah, no, come on, come on, no, freaking, come on, Bubblefish, there we go, all sorts of yellow honeybee love, helping us jive our way up to the Zapfish Hive at the end of this level, I like these rails, too, what's your favorite food, Bucko, mine be Krabby Cakes, ugh, I'm not a seafood fan, as much as I love the seafood theme of this game, I'm not a seafood fan, someone is pointing out to me that squids are pretty, uh, Prevalent in Mario games in general. Like, if you think about... Can I ride these? Hold up. Blooper. And then, like, Mario Sunshine. Squids have been a theme for quite a while. Oh, look at that! Hidden baubles. And we're gonna get to 500 surely now. I bet the scroll is beneath one of these things. Not sure which one. But it must be. Those spreaders were not rotating spreaders. These ones, on the other hand, I'm gonna ride all the rotating spreaders I can. Yeah, you would have missed those totally if you didn't do that. Interesting. Flying chopper fish. Trying to ruin our day. Um, let's get on here. Hello? <gasps> scroll! There we go. Two for two in the last two levels in scrolls. That's awesome. Good work, team. Splatoon, actually. We're not a team, we're a splatoon. A platoon of splat love. Alright, up the yellow wall. It's kind of like mustard honey. Confusion explosion. Alright, these guys hate me. But I like not having to worry about the uh, the scroll. This is probably armor? Just more bubbles, I guess. I think those are probably my favorite, like, item slash enemy in the game thus far. Uh, is those big blue, or like the colored fish that explode into a different color. It's pretty hot. Oh, there's an enemy there. I kind of want to kill him just to say I did. Shh. Surprise him from behind. 
Oh, he's so nervous. He's shaking. See, this is, what, this is what makes me think that these guys aren't willingly trying to be horrible people. Maybe the octopus people are just... They're just doomed to that fate by their ancestors and brethren from the past Turf Wars. And they really are just kind and fun and loving and beautiful. Creatures of the deep that want nothing more than to make us have fun. All right. I have to go down there. But first... No, ow, ow, no, no, no. Ah! Rocket jump away. Checkpoint. All right, the Zapfish is nearby. Captain can sense it. I can sense it too. Let's pop goes the weasel. Straight onto you. All right, this guy's trying to get active and aggressive. Oh, I need to use these to get behind him, I guess. Whoa, no, no. I could just go get the Zapfish, but I kind of want to ruin his day. So let's burst. Oh, no, no love. Wow, okay. All right. There we go. Eat it! And I've got all the orbs I need. 501, how perfect could it be that we touch the Zapfish and are ready for an upgrade for you and for me? 10 bonus for the armor. Good work. All right. This is rocking and rolling. Bingo. And a scroll on that one. The ink spray during a turf war vanishes almost immediately after the battle ends. How environmentally friendly. Incredibly convenient. See? They, they're all about health. I bet the Splatoon restaurant would be full of organic options for sure. Now let's upgrade our gear. I'm definitely going to take the hero shot here. Bring that to level 2. Now we're short on orbs, uh, so we could save two more Zapfish and head to another uh, level. Let's do that. I think number 8 is over there. Now uh, this one will be pretty interesting because it involves Octolings themselves. Uh, as, as children is what I mean to say. I'm not in their, like, octopi, weird, tentacle-head, leggy, high-heeled, creepazoid, shaking form, but in this form as an octoline invasion, where they try to replicate my Are You a Squid, Are You a Kid rap song with their own Are You an Octopi, Are You a Kid, which doesn't even rhyme, and Drake would be mightily displeased. The Zapfish is back there. Uh, this kind of, like, takes the shape of a multiplayer map. And we've got company bucko octolings ahead. They've got real groovy hair, and I'm gonna make them dead. They're pink, and they're menacing, and they mean serious business. So, hey yo, where are you? Boom! Seek it, and then get shot. Wow, man, I guess they do mean business. Our first death of the game comes at the hands of a merciless pink girl, octopi girl, female octopus, whatever. Yo, big jerk, eat my seeker, or don't. All right, I'll pop you anyways. Who needs bombs? I was trying to get too cute the first time, that's why. But this is no time to be sentimental. We have to definitely put the pain train on these Octolings. And I'm gonna explore around in order to find extra orbs. And the scroll, you can go up on these uh, upper levels where you cannot zoom or swim like a fish, but we can pick up the orbs below and then reach other areas. And these guys are a little silly. When they drop in, they should probably land in the other area, uh, like facing me, that would probably be smart. But this gives you a good like practice of multiplayer. I have an idea of what multiplayer is kind of like, how you want to use your ink to maneuver around and cover empty spaces. Typically in the single player, if you guys have noticed, all the areas are pre-filled pre with ink and then you're changing the color. Here it's totally empty. So again, it's, it's, very, it's very much like the campaign recreation of the uh, multiplayer. Give you a little bit of helpful practice before you go into the battle zone against everybody and their brother mother. All right, boom. Ah, I keep missing with that seeker, but they're easy to pop. Once you pop, the fun don't stop. I mean, it stops for them, but it sure doesn't stop for us, so it's all okay. Whoa! Bomb City! Whoa! Oh, golly goodness! Just like in multiplayer, they're pretty quick on their toes. And if you're not careful, you can definitely lose pretty quickly. Alright. Follow this trail. Let's get to another upper plane. Um, This is probably an upgrade. No, it's armor. Alright. Beautiful. Let's head down here, though. Free orbs. I want to upgrade my arsenal to its maximum, so it's good. There's got to be a squid kid around, right? An octo... Hey! Ah! Almost got gotcha, you, but it did support us enough to maneuver in the ink and make her pop. Um, anything up here? There's the zapfish. Uh, I saw there was a super weapon somewhere around here. You kind of get a little lost. Like, there is a map on the, the home screen, or the gamepad screen, I guess, rather. Um, but it's a little bit tricky sometimes to figure out exactly where you want to go. I'm gonna go pick up this power up so I have an ink zooka. I bet that's what it is. Yeah, all right. So now we can head towards the zapfish, where I bet we meet another octoling. Their invasion. 
I do wish there was kind of like a crustacean people around here. There isn't though. Boom. Uh-oh. Eat my tornado pain. Come around here. Where the oh my god. You don't even want to get shot. But I basically limited. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. This is a fierce battle. Fierce battle. Get out of my zone. Yes. These guys are tough to take down. At least tougher than the normal enemies because they do move a lot. But no match for us nonetheless. We reach the Zapfish platform and we complete our first Octoline test. The Kelp Dome Showdown has turned into a victory for Team Ghost Robo. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching this video. Actually, you know what? Let's just make it extra long. I love you guys. I was be like, hey, let's stop. But then Paradise Lost by Octolangelo. <laughs> Man, if that doesn't make you warm and fuzzy. I don't know what will. Actually, I do know what will. Probably the ninth level in the boss. Because uh, I'm guessing you guys have been mightily cliffhangered had I ended it right there. So let's go do the unidentified flying object level and make this a big, bold, beautiful video. Um, if the later worlds get bigger, I probably won't do them all in one go. But for now, this one's like right on the cusp of being too big. Oh god. Well, that's an Octo Striker. There's the UFO! Okay, it's here. Gosh. And whoa. Oh my golly goodness. That UFO is packing a punch like none we've ever seen. Okay, let's not get punched. Doesn't sound like a fun thing. Hey, clean man, can you go clean this UFO off of our outer space? Alright, I'm just gonna stay dove down deep into the turquoise ink. I love this color. It's really beautiful. Teal and pink, like what a great combo. For my birthday party, like this is this is what I want to see. Give me teal and pink on my cake and on my card and I'll be happy. Ow. You can still get kind of hurt when you're underground. Yeah, but typically it's a better option. We're going to be able to unlock another upgrade. Probably a new bomb type or something uh, after this level. Whoa! That guy just came out of nowhere. Just want to make sure you don't miss anything up in these trees. See, there's another free little bit of armor. And a... Whoa. No! Oh! Did you take off my bike helmet? No, I still got my beautiful helmet. Um, those walls cannot be shot, but these walls can. Looks like there's a gusher here. Whoa. Ow, 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 ow! Hey! Don't gush me, you dual tentacle creep. That's it, heave ho! And I found the sunken scroll. Man, we're on a scroll roll. If that's not a freaking term, coin it. Give me that Splatoon scroll roll. <laughs> Alright. Bombs away! Bon voyage, my friends. Alright. Boom, boom, bam, jam. Summer, Sam. Down we go. This is kind of, I think, the tutorial area. It's also a multiplayer map. Uh, but it is also, I believe, the tutorial area. And look how many Octopi are here. This is the coolest level, I think, yet, maybe. One of them. I really like the sponge level, I'm not gonna lie. And I think gushers are kind of fun. But I love the fact there's so many enemies here. And I think the color combo is just the best it's been. What do you guys think? Pretty hot, huh? Look at that. There's like a swirl pattern. When the ink strike comes down, that's magnifique. Alright. Don't clean, don't clean, don't clean, don't clean. Come clean my room instead. It's a mess. Pop goes the weasel, and we've got... Lovely teal electric explosion. Anyone around? I've got my freaking scroll. And this guy is here with his Daft Punk visor and his three little tail tentacles. Alright. I guess I'm gonna have to shoot him. Okay. Hello. Let's kill all his little uh, underlings first. And not get hit by his love. Maybe he's trying to hug us with ink. I'm just gonna shoot him in the belly, though. Paint you green, make you jelly. Pop goes the unidentified flying ugly. And that octopi will not bother us no more. Zapfish ahoy! Thank you, my boy. Or girl, since we're a squid girl. Onward! Trouble over Inkopolis, 10 plus bonus. And we're ready for a boss battle. Are you guys ready for a boss battle? Raise your hands in the air. I'm doing it right now. Boss battle time. Send your powers to the sky. We're gonna need him. It seems that some Octarians can assume humanoid form. These specimens of superior physical capabilities are highly aggressive, high-ranking individuals of kelp on their heads. But what motivates them, if anything at all? Watch out for the kelp kids. That's what we gotta do. And now the tea kettle says a chew. And we get to lick another lovely boss. What's this one gonna be like? Well, we'll find out in this video for you all. Full World 2 coming your way. The dreaded Octo Nozzle. Huh. So this is our technically our. 11th level? I think. 4, 9, yeah. Shooting the sneeze, the dreaded Octo Nozzle. And we've got Yellow as our partner in crime today. First boss battle was good. Could the second be even better? Let's find out. 
Uh oh. Like a piece of machinery here. Oh my god. With tiny little sneakers and two creepy eyes. And a totem of sushi. Gross. <laughs> it's like an elephant. But at the same time, I think we have to shoot at his sushi nozzle. Hey! Whoa, that's a big ball roll. Guy's bowling for squid kids. Alright, kill that sushi. Down he goes. Let's climb up his head. Nobody will even know. Shoot the tentacle! Bingo! There we go. Alright, I really like these pattern-based bosses. Sometimes pattern-based bosses are boring. But the fact that they encourage you to mix up your skills is pretty sweet. Alright, he's angry. Round two. He's got two layers of sushi love. And an extra nozzle. And tiny shoes. Alright. Whoa! Follow that seeker. I gotta get to his sushi spots. Pop goes one sushi. He's down a layer. Alright. Nope. Ball rolling. Alright. And come on, come on, come on. Uh, uh, uh. Jump! Up, go, 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 climb, 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 climb. And bingo! That's two. Uh, I forgot to get an upgrade. I'll get that after. Sorry, guys. It is interesting how the whole stage gets cleaned up once he regens. Watch this. Check this out. He, like, washes all the ink away. So that you, I think it'd be too easy if you just used your same pattern. Whoa, that was a freaking split-second dodge there. One layer pop. Two layer pop. Tootsie pop, pop. All three down. Oh, no, he's got another? Where? Whoa. Is he have another layer? <gasps> there is. He's got a little sushi butt. Bingo. All right. Let me climb you, sire. Ah! Tentacle? Doomsday. That's three. And the ink nozzler, octopi guzzler, has gone pop. Yellow ink everywhere. And we've got a second boss drop. A scroll and some orbs. And that's how you do things around here. Beautiful. Give me that scroll. The Zapfish is like, save me, save me, save me. And so we'll do just that and wrap up world two. Onwards and upwards, guys, to World 3 when we return. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know your favorite color of ink in the comments down below. I'll bring you more Splatoon soon. Until that time, though, we'll grab an upgrade. Oh, scritchy scratch. Oh, what's that sound? Cuttlefish. Blasted radio must be broken. You're doing great, Agent 3. Don't let up. Evil is afoot, and so is another hub base. Thank you guys and girls for watching. Drink some hot chocolate. Not ink. That would probably be really bad for your health. Stay away. Anti-octopus weapon blueprints. I think we can take these uh, to the base, uh, like the Inkopolis, and see maybe they can do something for us with these blueprints. I hope so. I wonder if they'll create some new kinds of guns for us. Either way, guys and girls, thanks again for watching. We have a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. Until next time, we will see you all later.